Well, welcome. I'm sorry, I had a burp. Are you ready or no? Oh, I oh, sorry. <laughs> I got really, I got panicky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm ready now. You're ready? Okay. <laughs> welcome to Those, Those Two Chicks, Chicks with, with a podcast. podcast. Uh, my name is Jordan. My name is Emma Grace. And welcome. Well, we already said that. Do. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, we're in a just a goofy, funny mood today. Yes. But it's a sad day because mm-hmm. it's True Crime Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Well, not really. It's Saturday. It's a sad Saturday. Right. Sad sa- <laughs> I hope not. I was in a good mood this morning. Yeah. It's got to be a good Saturday. Um, It's snowing. Oh. <clears throat> I'm <laughs> over mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I wore Hey Dudes today, which I'm sure if you're from Michigan, everyone fucking knows what Hey Dudes are. Mm-hmm. Very comfortable. Um, But I was like... No, you stupid idiot. It snowed. So I had to walk to into Emma's house, and I got snow all in my shoes. Oh, <laughs> That was really sad. And I was like, oh, fuck. I started to shiver because <laughs> I'm not wearing a coat either. I just have leggings and hey dudes and a crew neck. Because <laughs> I'm not putting on a coat again. It is <laughs> fucking the middle of March. It's going to be a blizzard. You're like, I'm not putting I'm on not. a coat. I'm not. You're dying of hypothermia. <laughs> yes, I refuse. At least I'm not like the shorts yeah. In the snow. Oh, yeah. Like, like the teenage boy shorts with the long socks in the snow. I'm not that level, but I fucking refuse to put on a coat. I understand. It's, what is it? It's March 12th. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be 60s next week, so. Yeah. So, we're good. Good old Michigan. I feel like I was going to tell you something else, but I can't remember. Hmm. Or maybe I was going to tell the people something. We got new mics. Well, okay. I got a new mic. Yeah. So... We're really hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm not going to truly advertise this yet until we hear it. But we're really hoping this settles all audio issues that we've had so far. Which haven't even been bad. Emma's worked really hard on our audio. Thanks. But we're perfectionists. I'm so loud that we just, we needed something better for me. Yeah. So hopefully it sounds better. You guys let us know. Does it sound <laughs> I feel like it sounds exactly Does the same. It sound so. good or <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's Emma's True Crime Tuesday. Yeah. Um, what? This one's interesting. Okay. I think you're gonna like yours. It. Are all really interesting. You Thank find you. the good ones. I think I just have something. Like I, some, I have to find something odd. I think I need to start my... reading some books. Yeah. And maybe I can find some. Well, I like the ones I've done. Let yes, me just say. I do I like, like them. But I feel like mine are very, um, well, they're all modern. Mm-hmm. I think I've done only modern ones. I have. And yeah. they're very like, this is what happened. It, but yours are like twists and turns. And, mm-hmm. you know, I like that. Um, This one's kind of twisty turny, but not mm-hmm. really. Okay. This one I just read and, and I, I kind of, I, I chuckled. Okay. Oh, bit. okay. So it's kind it's, of a funnier one. It kind of is, but like it's not. I mean, it's a murder, so I guess well, take yeah. it as you will. But mm-hmm. it is like what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm excited. So my true crime story for you today. Mm-hmm. I think I can say you probably have never heard this before. Okay. And I think everyone listening, there's a good chance they've never heard. Yeah, because you one looked either. it up and you couldn't find. Anything. Couldn't find anything. Okay, I'm so excited. I would like to add a disclaimer as always that this is a true crime case, so please check our show notes. But listener discretion is advised. We are gonna step back into time because it's smiling a, like that. it's an Emma Grace true crime. True oh crime. God. <laughs> and apparently, I can only find older crime cases. That's so. okay. The year is 1905. Ooh. In. Detroit, Michigan. Oh. So in Detroit is where the Alhambra Flats apartments building is located. And one night, the numbers do vary. You'll find out in a minute. But at least 10 different families all became violently ill within one week. Oh. After looking at everything, all fingers pointed to a lady named Rose Barron. Oh. And I could be saying, I don't know if it's Alhambra or Alhambra. How is it it spelled? It's A L. H A M B R A. Hombre? Uh-huh. Hombre? I don't know. I am not Alhambra. the best person to Alhambra. even. I don't know why Alhambra. I'm trying. Yeah. It, it's an apartment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> El Hombre. <laughs> okay. Rose Barron was a was a cook at the apartments, but was recently demoted to a scrub woman. Now some articles mm-hmm. claim that Rose was bitter about the whole situation, which I get I would be too. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Exactly. So, now, Rose Barron was described as a cultured, educated little mite of a woman. (laughs) 
That is something no one will ever describe me as. A little mite. I'm a big mama mite, I guess. <laughs> little mite of a woman. I know. Does that mean she was just little but like scrappy? Like yeah. strong? Yeah. Or like That's how I would feisty? think. Little, little mite of a woman. That's what it makes me think. Yeah. Little mite of a woman. She's feisty. Okay. And a newspaper article said that when they arrested Rose under suspicion, people had a hard time that this soft-spoken, kind lady, who I will also mention was diagnosed with cancer at the time, oh. could have done this. I was just trying to think those are very contradicting. Little mite in small, soft-spoken, I feel like, are very... Mm-hmm. So a lot of people... Who's the real... What's your name? Rose. I thought it was Mary for a second. Because <laughs> you all... They're all Marys. This one's Rose Little this time. Rose, is she a Gemini? Does she have the twin personalities or two personalities? She could. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? I just thought I would add that in there because that was a couple of newspaper articles from 1905. Like, I found both of them. Yeah. And then I found a few more art- newspaper articles and whatever, and I compared them. And that's... Mm. But this whole case has some of that going on the entire time. Oh, that's okay. I was just thinking, is she, like, putting on a front for investigators and newspapers? That's that was my thought. So I'm wondering. Okay. Hmm. So they arrested Rose, and here is why. Rose had free access to the kitchen. Okay. So it was simple for her to taint the food with arsenic. They also found arsenic in a can of baking powder. Oh, my God. Police discovered it was the biscuits that were given to the tenants that made them all sick. Can I just say something? And mm-hmm. you don't have to put this in, but when we were first talking and you said she got demoted, I was about to say, what, were my biscuits not good enough? <laughs> but I just didn't say it because I'm like, that's stupid. But it's a fucking biscuit. <laughs> She's like, oh, my biscuits aren't good enough for you. <laughs> well, here's a little bit of arsenic. So <laughs> let's switch over to the courtroom. Okay. Charles and Mary Abbott were Rose's defense attorneys. They claimed that the illness could be pedomine. Pedomine. Okay. Okay. The illness could be pedomine poisoning. Or faulty building pipes. Oh, I could see that. Mm-hmm. 1905. During a heated argument in the trial, a jury member stood up and shouted, My God, I've been poisoned. <gasps> what? Doctors rushed to him and he had only fainted. Oh. The power of suggestion <laughs> may have been too much for him. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be me. Because <laughs> I have health anxiety. I'd be like, oh, I feel woozy now. <laughs> oh my God. My heart's going fast. And I have jury duty later. Oh my god, I'm that's gonna be My me. god, I've been poisoned. You're like, should, guys, it's not even the mood. You should literally just it's like it's like a fucking traffic violation. <laughs> my god, um, I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned. <laughs> just see what they say. They're like, sit down. They're like, what the fuck? You should have screened this chick. She's crazy. <laughs> I've been poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> news article stated that this criminal case was more of a social affair oh. it was the best three ring circus ever staged oh and that was the quote i they literally wrote that in there oh my god i love that the attorneys brought in an engineer to draw the design of the building that was to try to prove whether the faulty building pipes were valid or not okay then <laughs> Rose's attorneys tried to charge the prosecutor, the other prosecutor, for trickery, stating that the drawings have been changed to fool the jury. (laughs) Were they? Oh, Oh, no. Don't Don't they know what the building looks like? (laughs) And they're like, okay. (laughs) And then they had a witness. Okay. So one witness testified that this woman, a stranger to him, stopped him to ask if he could buy her arsenic at the corner drugstore for a rat problem. He oh. bought it for her. Oh, okay. Okay. So they said... Interesting. Well, then you bought the arsenic, right? Yeah. As they looked more into Rose's background, they found that there was a trail of deaths wherever she went, this including bitch. her father-in-law who died from arsenic. But several members of her own family died under suspicious circumstances. And if she did kill them, it could very well be for the insurance they carried. So in few newspapers stated that Rose had a decent amount of money uh-huh. and her husband, Mike, was a carpenter who also made good money at the time. Okay. And they described Mike as someone who was thrifty, sober, faithful, and did not want her to work. So if she did do this, again, she's innocent until proven guilty, but money is kind of on the table, but not. Right. Like they weren't struggling. 
Yeah. And then another person I would like to talk about is Rose's husband, Mike. All I can say is bless his heart. I think I have an aunt and uncle named Rose and Mike. Are they dead? No. I know. 1905. No, but... Is Rose married to Mike? I think it is. I think it's Mike and Rose. It just, just kind of makes me laugh a little bit. It is funny. <laughs> yeah. If she never makes biscuits, run. Don't eat them. <laughs> no biscuits. So you have to just, Mike, bless his heart. Mike fought to save her. Aww. He never left her. He never wavered in his faith. Rose would joke with the police and tease Mike when he would try to offer alibis. <laughs> Why would you do that in that situation? Like, I don't know. Save it for later. Roast the husband later. You probably need the alibi. <laughs> oh. Uh, Rose Barron's trial took 19 weeks. 19? Yeah. I just almost had a spit take. On May 15th, 1905, the jury came back after 15 hours of deliberation and found her not guilty. Are you shitting me? Since all the people who were poisoned all recovered. Oh, oh, that's, I was just about to ask, who died? Bo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I only need to learn to shut the fuck up sometimes. Some articles say that the number of people that were poisoned ranged from 12 to 40 people. Oh. And some say that two people died. <laughs> There's no clear answer. Who's documenting this shit? Oh. Because 1905 is not that long ago. I mean, it is. But, but... you'll even read the newspaper articles. Yeah. That's what they're saying. And then well, uh... someone made a newspaper article like 39 years later. Uh-huh. And they just kept kind of re-going back to the case. Yeah. And still, they're like, well, it could range from this to that. You're but telling we me really don't know. This trial was 19 weeks and we don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. They what? have no clear answer of how many people might have died or who was all infected. Even though Detroit police said that the evidence against Rose was, and I quote, overwhelming. Oh, my God. (laughs) She was acquitted and set free. And that is the strange case of the poison biscuits or faulty building pipes that we'll never know. (laughs) But I would like to make a few notes about all of this. Yes. It is 2022. Okay. We can assume Rose has most likely passed away by now. Oh, for sure. Right. I couldn't find when she might have passed, but I found a few articles I thought made some interesting points. Mm. A point I have is that arsenic symptoms, Mm -hmm. they include like hours and hours, okay, of diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. And that's if they don't have the lethal dosage, Mm -hmm. right? So if Rose poisoned at least 10 families, 12 to 40 people, depending on what article you've read, her occupation was a scrub woman. So who has to clean that up? (laughs) Yeah, Emma. Isn't that weird? Why would she do that? Like, she has to clean that up. Emma, that's not your question. That's my question. That's what pissed me off about all of this. Well, yeah, because I guess, when did they finally invent, like, when did they finally have the pipes? Like, they had to have had, like, plumbing in 1905, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, they're just throwing it but out like, the window. No, they're not throwing it out the window, but... I don't know. I don't know yes. when they invented it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you the exact oh, date. I believe it's, yeah, yeah, it's barely that. Um, 1826 was like oh. the first indoor plumbing system. Okay. But, I'm yeah, like off so by a, have, almost 100 years. You were, but, yeah, no, they had indoor plumbing. But still, if everyone's vomiting and, like. Yeah. Well, if it's a whole a, family, they probably only have. Well, okay. What's this apartment building like? It's because tall. It's Well, not the structure, but I oh. mean, like. <laughs> it's a building. <laughs> Oh, 40 windows. Tall. No, it's like a, an apartment building with a kitchen. Like, yeah. they feed people? Well, that's what I think just back this then like it was a, a little different. Well, this is my thought. I was like, do they share a bathroom on each floor? Oh, they probably do. Because then people are probably pooping in the hallways if you poison that many people. And there's one toilet. Right. And this happened like in the span of one week. So her oh, Monday okay. through Friday life, or yeah. she worked weekends too. So seven days a week, she's right. cleaning up. Poo. Vomit and poo. And stinky poo. <laughs> well, maybe she thought that she gave them enough to kill them so she didn't think she'd have to. And then she was like, God damn it. Oh, she's scrubbing the poop up. She's like, why did I do that? A little mite of a woman. <laughs> she probably, yeah, probably could get it done real quick. A little mite of a woman. <laughs> but that's the only thing I'm like, I'm on this. And she just, yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, 
if that's her way of like killing everybody, like getting her revenge, yeah. she has to clean it up. So what so, revenge? W- what do they think people got from the pipes? Like how? What was that called? Um, pedamine. The fuck is that? I, it's a type of poisoning, and I don't know if it's because of pedamine is food poisoning. It's just another word for food oh. poisoning. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so they just thought it was maybe but, just food poisoning. Yeah. So they yeah, because I guess they can't test anybody if they have arsenic in their system. Oh. Hmm. We need to crack this case because there's mm-hmm. just too much left unsaid. And so, I mean, she she's innocent. She was found not guilty. But the thing is that even if you wanted to say she did do it, yeah. you really can't say money. She didn't no. get anything for Maybe she just liked people. to kill people. Do you have that? But have... here's also my thing. Why did they automatically go to her? Because who was the actual kitchen person? Yeah, she don't... wasn't. Yeah, she was demoted. But I don't know. I think maybe because they probably asked the cook and the cook probably was like, nah. <laughs> but you know who's <laughs> bitter? <laughs> that <laughs> Rose Baron. No. Like. 1905. Yeah, I guess. But it's like but... also where she kept the arsenic. But people did just keep that shit around if yeah, there and was that's an where, infestation. Yeah, um, with how many arsenic and strychnine poisoning crime cases there are. Yeah. Like, we, a lot of the old ones, that was just an easy go-to. Yeah. Laws made arsenic harder to get in the 20th century. Okay. I was going to say. But I love how easy it was to just go get poison from the corner oh, drugstore. For, sure. for sure. Just go to the party store down the street and they got some. Right. Next to the liquor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fun <don't> night. <laughs> Interesting. So, do you think she did it or no? Uh... I think, I think she did. I'm leaning towards but she I, probably didn't. But I don't, I don't know, I'm like Because split. I don't see the motive. There's no either. motive. There is no motive. <laughs> uh, the only motive she has that I think that's where she was arrested under suspicion mm-hmm. is she was demoted to the scrub woman recently. Right. I feel like we need to know more about her past yeah. to know. And there's nothing because in her past. You have all about her husband. Yeah. Who was really just trying to say I think what threw me off a little bit was just her joking. Yeah. But maybe well, she was joking because she knew that she didn't do it. Like she just thought it was so stupid. That's true. I don't know. She does kinda of sound a little crazy. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did she do it? I have a hard I I think why I don't think she did it is just like, that's just stupid. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't poison <laughs> people it. so I get to clean it up. And I feel like... like that kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, if supposedly she, you know, her family members died from arsenic poisoning. Oh, yeah, supposedly. I forgot about them, too. Yeah. Supposedly. Um, I guess my thought is, too, wouldn't she know how much could kill somebody? Yeah. If she's done it multiple times. Mm-hmm. She would know. And yeah. why would you only sprinkle a little bit in the biscuits just to get people sick when you know how much would kill a person and you know you're going to feed that many people? You'd probably dump the whole fucking thing in there, right? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. No, it does not make no. sense. Unless she was just, but on the other <laughs> side of that, if she knows how much can kill somebody, maybe she just sprinkled a little in because she was like, haha, I'm going to make you guys shit your brains out because you got me demoted. That's true. You know? Well, maybe, because you don't even know who demoted her. It could have been the cook true. that was in there. Maybe that true. was, like, their her superior at Maybe she's trying to get whatever. them in trouble. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. But it's such a small, short case. Yeah. Little blurb of information. I and like I it. love how it's still, like, <laughs> did she do it? Or right. What really happened? <laughs> I just love how it was a 19-week trial. Yeah, and we don't, that's what it cracks me up, is a 19-week trial. We still don't really know what happened. Yeah. She's found not guilty. But they literally said this was a three ring circus. Like they, they said it was just this it just crazy. Like a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah. And even Rose's attorneys. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know they're just doing their job, but I mean, they were even crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. That bugs You're me though. I'm gonna think the about jury. this. <laughs> Trickery. <laughs> my God, I've been poisoned. <laughs> I was like, no, he just fainted. Well, I mean, he probably... <laughs> that was That's good. it. I like I know. that. It was just the most random thing ever, and I still don't know if she did it or not. You know what? Sometimes it's nice to have the funnier. I know we say true crime is like our serious day. Yeah. But sometimes it's nice to throw in some random bad little biscuits. <laughs> I'm going home to make biscuits tonight. Well, I'm not making... Well, I'm making chicken and dumpling soup. So I'm going to use oh, the biscuits yeah. for the dumplings. And now I know a special ingredient I can add. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can get it. I don't think, <laughs> I, don't think I would, but 
I don't think I can. Can and you I, actually get arsenic now? I don't know. See, I Goog- doubt I it. was about to say Google it, but I don't know if you should because the FBI agent that lives in your phone will see it. Hello, FBI agent. <laughs> can you buy arsenic anymore? Are freely available. Oh, on for sale on the internet. Oh, well. If so it's not needs it. produced in the United States. Oh, arsenic is no longer produced in the United States, oh. but it is still imported from other countries until the 1940s. Well, so is it is or it isn't? Can I Amazon it from another country? Yeah, I think that's okay. what it is. <laughs> but it says now most use, uses of arsenic and farming are banned in the United States. Okay, so it's, yeah. I'm sure somebody uses it somewhere, though. I'm sure. Well, I'm going to get a knock on my door. Like, you are. Are you? <laughs> You're going to get another letter. You're summoned to court. <laughs> We saw what you were Googling. Googling. <laughs> you got to be careful about your Google history, man. You do. Sometimes I, I want to look up stuff and I'm like, that's fucked up to Google. I'm not going to do that. Like for my research, not just like oh, yeah. on the da- daily. I was like, okay. <laughs> Can I buy poison? <laughs> my husband's pissing me off. <laughs> I'm oh, just wondering. God. No, I don't think well, you can. Well, you can, but you can't. Like, it's not. Sh- you shouldn't. If you guys are interested, give it a Google. It's on there. What if it was like really brings out the flavor of biscuits? Like, people are like <laughs> I don't know why that just made me kind of gag. Your, a little your bit. biscuits would be divine. <laughs> <laughs> Only the right amount, though. <laughs> if the difference is between literally half a teaspoon, if you fuck that up, you're in big trouble. <laughs> you're either gonna die or shit your brains out, or both. So <laughs> it's a gamble. I just go with basic biscuits <laughs> just to be right. safe. Pillsbury. <laughs> Pillsbury. <laughs> I got off-brand shit because I'm poor, so. I don't know the last time I had a Pillsbury. I don't know either. I can't, I don't even know what kind I bought, honestly. I don't really have a lot of biscuits, though. Me neither. Isn't Pillsbury the dough, but you poke them, you yeah, go, Yeah, he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if it's like that, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hey. <laughs> I don't think he sounds like that, but I think he goes like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, Let's look it up. <laughs> My- my Pills Google history goes from, can you buy arsenic anymore, <laughs> to what does the Pillsbury Doughboy sound like? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, don't worry. Other people have been Googling it. Of course. Hold on. Brought to you by Top10Commercials.com. Oh! <laughs> 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 this commercial's so funny. Ah! <laughs> He's getting patted. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh... Okay, if any of us goes on an airplane and we have to get checked, we have to do that. <laughs> well, we got on a tangent. <laughs> to Pillsbury. Oh, so that's, that's our cute. true crime for Yeah, today. sorry, guys. I got off on a... I just had to hear what it sounded like because I was confused. You were pretty close. Yeah. You're closer than I was. I was pretty close. You were. We'll listen back to that. Yeah, I will. Make, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you were. <laughs> really funny. Um... So yeah, that that was our that's all, folks. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, join us Friday. Yeah, we have um, part two of our mirror. Um, what the fuck tales? Yes, and uh, it's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. It's a little spooky. Mm-hmm. So definitely check that out. And oh, rate and subscribe. I don't even care if you give us a bad rating. Just give us a rating. <laughs> <laughs> it helps our podcast. And if yeah. you like it, subscribe because that also helps our podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have case recommendations, I keep forgetting to mention this, but our emails in the show notes, it's just those two chicks podcast at Gmail. Yeah. And you can, my piercing keeps getting stuck on my teeth. <laughs> yeah. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> I have to okay. get a shorter bar. <laughs> Um, but you guys can recommend cases or just let us know if you have any stories. We'd love to read them because sometimes that helps us not have to do as much work. That's all, folks. Bye-bye. Bye Bye now. (laughs) Reminds me of Toy Story. She's like, I like, what is it? A Toy Story Barbie. She's like, oh, bye-bye now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. (laughs) My cheeks are from smiling. Yeah. (laughs)